Hello, my name is Tomasz Żarski and I'm a customer delivery architect for Cisco Catalyst SD1. In this video, I'm going to talk about the SD1 lab deployment tool, which automates Cisco Catalyst SD1 labs inside Cisco Modeling Labs. Cisco Modeling Labs is a premier platform for modeling both Cisco and non-Cisco networks. It's highly scalable and can run both on-premises and in the cloud. In addition, it allows you to automate the simulations with a powerful and easy-to-use REST API and Python client library. With Cisco Modeling Labs, you can design, test and troubleshoot without the cost or hassle of a physical lab. The SD1 lab deployment tool enhances the native capabilities of Cisco Modeling Labs by adding automated SD1 lab management. This includes automation of software uploads and node creation, bringing up an overlay with full configuration, certificates and configuration templates in minutes, as well as the ability to backup and restore the SD1 lab state. To use the tool, you will need a licensed Cisco Modeling Lab server and Linux or macOS environment with Python 3.9 or higher. As a first step, Follow the README document to install the tool. For each lab that you will create, we recommend to create environmental variables that will define IP addresses and credentials for your lab. Make sure you load these variables before running the tool. Before you can run SD1 labs, you need to make sure the right software images are available. As you can see, I've already downloaded the QCAL software images from software.cisco.com to my local machine, and I will now upload it to CML using the CSD1 setup task. The setup task will scan the local folder and upload the SD1 software images to CML server. You can repeat this process each time you want to add a new SD1 software version to your CML server. Once the software is available in the CML, you can deploy your lab by running CSD1 deploy task. This will create the simulation inside CML, including SD1 manager, validator, controller, and two underlay transports. Once nodes are up and running, the tool will configure the SD1 control components, install certificates, and prepare basic configuration groups. Depending on your CML server performance, this might take around 10 to 20 minutes. When the deploy task is finished, you can reach your SD1 manager using IP and credentials you've defined in the environmental variables. After setting up your basic SD1 network, you can now use add task to add additional SD1 validators, controllers, or SD1 and SD routing one edges. The add task will add the requested number of nodes to topology and fully onboard them into the SD1 lab overlay. Note that you can also use the CML UI to add any non-SD1 nodes to your topology. In this demo, we will add four one edge routers. Once the task completes and SD1 Manager is refreshed, you will see your One Edge routers onboarded. If you'd like, you can save the current state of the topology using Backup Task. This task will save the CML node and link information, configuration of the nodes, and will backup your SD1 configuration and policy groups. All of this will be saved in a folder, so you can restore the lab later if required. This was a quick demo of SD1 lab deployment tool that lets you easily deploy and manage Catalyst SD1 labs inside Cisco Modeling Labs. If you would like to try it yourself, install CML from Cisco Learning Network Store and then get SD1 lab deployment tool for free from Cisco Open GitHub. Thank you.